Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. Happy Friday. So many videos to make today. We just covered Jen releasing a powerful statement about her ex, Devin, and how she'll always love the man she fell in love with. Well, now it looks like he may have been busted. Uh, and by busted, I mean caught canoodling. Who knows? It could have been a second cousin. I don't know what he's up to. Uh, but I'm going to share that TikTok with you. Uh, TikTok and you don't stop. But then there's more. But wait, there's more. We then have... Uh, um, uh, some TikToks from an ex-girlfriend and someone who claims that he bullied her. So we'll share those with you as well. It's a cornucopia of content here on a free forum Friday. And by the way, if you like my content, I do private live streams. I have a private live stream I make while I record these videos and while I set up the different thumbnails and whatnot. So this was actually taken from moments ago. This is me. <laughs> this is uh, right here. Me and my son as he's, see, I got, I got my little, uh, I got, what, what do you call this thing? Montes I have Montessori style toys. Toys, but here's my son savagely trying to eat the toy. I mean, he doesn't know any better. He's a kid. He's only four months old today. But I think I think this is pretty good for four months, right? He's coming in there. Have a listen. There he is. He's got the hiccups. Anyhow, if you want to hang out with us, the point is we have a live chat room. You can come join us. That's where we'll be. Okay, so yes, Jen releases a powerful statement. Let me get my graphics right here. And she says, I always uh, have love for the person I fell in love with, and I am choosing to wish him the best in the journey of life and will always root for him. Well... Now we have his uh, hanging out at a club, possibly being exposed. Maybe Jen already knew this. What do we know? Here's the 13-second long video that said, uh, this was Devin saying, stop by Planted Flag. This is him at Little Sister Lounge. And I guess that's supposed to be the same place on the rooftop here. And people are saying, is this not Devin? And they're wondering, who's the lady next to him? Shoulders are touching. His knee is man spreading all over her denim jeans. Who could they be? And rumors are that it might be an ex or someone he's used to know. There they are, arm around her, sort of, kind of, in the way, although he's looking pretty devilishly smiling. And this was supposedly, or supposably, depending on your level of IQ, uh, supposedly, uh, supposedly, this was uh, only several weeks after he broke up. Well, Jen has responded to this. Jen said, meanwhile, which although I think meanwhile is one word. Am I right, uh, Patreon chat? Is meanwhile one word? Either way, it doesn't matter. Meanwhile, he said to me, let's see each other and talk about working things out. And um, people are like, oh, shoot, Jen Tran in the house. Well, she's not working it out. She's Paso doubling her way to the Mirrorball Trophy, hopefully. Um, anyhow. Here, okay, so I don't know, I haven't watched this, but depending on if it's juicy or not, sometimes people on TikTok make really boring content. I don't know if this is it or not, but this is an ex and what she had to say about Devin. Then I'm going to share uh, someone who says they were bullied by Devin. And then I'm going to share Sydney Gordon, who by all means, I have no idea why she made a video, uh, but she did. Uh, in as part of the Gentran fan club. Jump on that bandwagon. Go get it. Anyway, here's ex-girlfriend Maddie Lou Who. Okay, don't want to be the girly that adds fuel to this fire. <laughs> don't want to be the girly, but here we go. And of course, that right there is a, a photo, a text from Devin saying, your house tonight. Now, of course, I'm assuming this wasn't recent. I'm assuming this is way back to when they were in high school, but they were all kids. That was like two years ago. I feel like they were in high school during the pandemic. That makes you and I old. But I'm going to be the girly because I believe Jen needs to know the whole shebang. Well, you could just DM her, but I get it. Devin. And I happened to date Devin my senior year of high school for a short period of time. And things went south in a very similar way. So Devin and I were friends mainly just because we went to the same house parties and bada bing bada boom. We started going out on some dates. And how how Jersey is this going to get? Bada bing bada boom, you know, something, something. Forget about it. It was it was really nice. I remember thinking the same thing. I'm like, what a nice guy. You know, he would show up with roses and he would take me to like a nice dinner and that was that was wild for a gal in her senior year of high school yeah who can afford that in high school 
I only gave flowers if I could rip them out of someone's garden. Dating very casually. We're, we're we're talking, and I am so enthralled by this man because such a gentleman from such a young age. Big personality and just super sweet. You know, call, constantly complimenting me and. Just, like, seems to be super self-aware, seems to be super, I don't know, intentional. Sounds good. And I met his mom. He introduced me to his mom really early on, which is, like, odd in itself. I love how old school and nostalgic this this is. His mom drove us to the movies. His mom bought, you know, it's like, how old are you guys? So, long story short. Yeah, please. I have a massive crush on this guy at this point. He's doing everything right. He's giving me all of these signs that, you know, he's wanting a relationship. That was definitely at that point something that I was very open to, even though, you know, I'm sure I had a lot of growing to do as well when it came to relationships, obviously at that point, because I was 17. But long story short, it all boils down to one night Every time a white woman says long story short, they add the story by three minutes long. <laughs> you know, you can probably guess. Long story short, it was third grade. How far back do we need to go? It's a story as old as time. Tale as old as time. Um, he wanted to take things further. Oh boy. Than I was willing to take them. She's beautiful, right? And nice hair. And at the time, in the moment, such a gentleman. You know, super understanding. It's no problem. I completely understand. Imagine if this whole time she's like, I'm going to expose him and it's just nothing but compliments. We're waiting for the hammer to drop. No pun intended. After that incident, we kind of went about our lives like normal. Same kind of thing. Slowly starts fading away. You know, it did not take long for the rumors about me to start circulating around his friend group which then grew to a much larger group of people and i was absolutely humiliated uh, okay so if i was talking to her i'd say what rumors uh and again i'm not i'm not denying anything she's saying here i just don't know uh the rumors that they hooked up the rumors that did, were the rumors that they did more than they actually did? Does she think that he was kissing and telling? And also, you should not kiss and tell, but if you're like an 18-year-old guy and you have a cute girl here, or vice versa, if you're the girl who hooks up with the guy on the quarterback, you know, you wouldn't, you, you, you tell a friend. Now, the, would the friends tell everyone? Yes. Uh, but I, you know, again, um, waiting for the hammer to drop. This man told his friends... Uh oh Basically, anything that you would say to your group of bros about a girl who wasn't willing to match your energy in that way. So, again, I just, I know, I know we're, I know we're dancing around. So, does that mean she's saying he was vindictive because she wouldn't bang him? Like, is that what she's saying here? Did I miss something? Will someone, will someone explain this for an elder millennial? I w heard from them that I had poor feminine hygiene oh. and that I was a log and I just lay there and just was like completely <laughs> degraded. Yeah, that's messed up. That's messed up. Yeah. Again, not from Devin, but of course, assuming, I guess we're, we're to assume that the rumors started with him. And... I remember reaching out to him and, you know, confronting him on this matter and just how quick he was to give me that politically correct answer of like, I have like, it's just rumors. I have no idea what you're talking about. Not so much happened from there other than my personal just demise. Uh so she's saying he's denying that he started those rumors. So we have a he said, she said here. Now, I guess the question is, are the rumors... 
I don't know what they are, but if they're accurate enough that she knows he told someone, like say she's got a mole on her butt cheek, and then the the rumor comes out that there's a mole on her butt cheek, and she goes, okay, Devin must have said that. But if they're just baseless rumors, then anybody could have started them. I, what I'm trying to say is high school kids are really mean. I mean, I would never want, I, I'm hor- I am scared. I live near high school. I'm scared of high school kids. Of like total embarrassment, especially like being, you know, where I was at and feeling really justified in, in my decisions and, and choosing what I wanted to do and what I didn't want to do and just feeling so publicly degraded by the last person I would have expected, you know, like the nice guy. I don't know if this helps. I don't know if this hurts, but Jen, I am rooting for you. You've got this. You dodged a bullet. I don't know if it helps or hurts either. It certainly doesn't really, I don't know. It's 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 probably a little bit of both, but Hey, I say send her to paradise, you know, get her on the next season of The Bachelor. Trust me. And it is wild. These men are wild. This man had the last decade to grow up. I I haven't even been watching the season up until this last episode. And then I actually noticed for the first time that Devin was on the show. And I was like, duh. Anyways, Jen, you got this. Moving on. I promise you, there are so many men that want to match your freak. I promise. Match your freak. There it is. Well, I say get her on the next season. Match your freak. Um, and, well, I, th- I kind of feel like this might be more damning. Sorry if it's not a good video, but here's my story about this season's winner of The Bachelorette. Story time. Again, I'm not trying to pile on. I'm just taking what's on TikTok and sharing it. So I've been asked a million times to make you this video, so story time. Beautiful smile. Is she in an Uber? What's going on here? So for any of you- Or is she driving? You shouldn't be, don't do a story time while you're driving. Maybe she's the passenger. You guys wondering, I went to George Ranch High School from 2011 to 2014. Um, so I did go to school with Devin Strader, the, uh, winner or whatever from this season of The Bachelor. Um, we actually even had a health class together in the 10th grade, when I was in the 10th grade, and I think he was, uh, a grade above me at the time. I ended up graduating early, but, um, anyways. So, we had the same health class. And one thing I wanted to point out is that me and Devin, we hated each other. We fucking hated each other. And for good reason too, um, I didn't used to look like this. Uh, I had a goal when I was like 22, but I used to look very different. So he used to make fun of my looks a lot. Um, when I would walk in the air, he would be like, ew, or he would call me ugly. And this is kind of important for context, but at the time um, I was dealing with CPS uh, because my parents were physically and emotionally abusive to me and my sibling. So unfortunately, as a result, I self-harmed as a way to cope with it and um, he found out about it and told me to kill myself. If you're wondering why I didn't go tell the teachers, it's because I knew the teachers were mandated to report that back to my parents and the fact that I was self-harming was the reason that they were abusing me. By the way, this is wildly believable and really probably the worst thing I, I've seen so far to come out about Devin. Uh, but not only did he do that, he also liked to throw school materials at me, like uh, paper balls, knock stuff off my desk when I went to the bathroom or I was gone, or knock stuff off my chair. Yeah, he was a vicious bully. I remember talking to him, bringing him up to my best friend, and she told me that uh, she wrote, she misspelled something on her notebook. And he took the liberty upon himself to write, uh, just drop out of high school, uh, which by the way, she's dyslexic. But even if she's not dyslexic, it, there's no reason to treat people like that. Um, but yeah, this, this that demonstrator is a fucking asshole. He's been an wow. asshole since high school. Um, and he's just not, he's not good to women. 
the only girls that he would like be nice to would be the really pretty rich mm. white girls which is kind of important because um I don't really think Asian girls were ever his type. He's always kind of gone for like the really pretty white girls, which kind of makes sense now. But yeah, that's my story. Also, fun fact, that girl on the cover of Her Loss on that Drake album, um, her name is Quiana Johnson, and she went to high school with me and Devin Schrader. <laughs> Actually, not thinking about it, I wouldn't be surprised if he made fun of her, because I know Quiana was made uh, fun of a lot in high school for like an anime and stuff. Me and her were terror kids, but anyways, yeah, that's the story. Demonstrator's a fucking asshole. He's always been a fucking asshole. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Do you believe it? I don't, I don't see why anyone would make this up. I, you know, you don't want people to dance on someone's grave here, but uh, look, hey, you know, don't be an a-hole, I guess. Uh, I like her. She's nice. Go to paradise. Can we get them all on paradise? All right. And finally, speaking of uh, uh, people who did not have a good edit on the show, here's uh, Sydney Gordon uh, praising Jen Tran. To me, it's all what you're about to watch. It's like, Nothing I disagree with. I just feel like coming from the messenger, it feels performative. That's all. What do I know? Have a listen. I'm on here and express how proud I am of Jen. Now, I already reached out to her personally, but I did want to support her publicly as well. To have gone through everything that she has gone through, especially as the first Asian American bachelorette and being single at the end of this, but look how strong and independent this woman is. This just proves more than ever that she is the main character. She is a badass woman. Jen, you are changing the world, girl. And this is just the beginning of your life. Cha you changing the world. You deserve the best love that there is. And I'm so proud of you. And I'm so happy to be in your corner. Hold no, like, uh, again, I... It's a Friday. What, what do I have to say about that? I don't know. It's changing the world. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I hope Jen changes the world for the positive. Sure. Hope she cures cancer. Um, but I just thought that was weird coming from Sydney Gordon. Hey, Sydney, I'll be in Newport, Rhode Island in October. I've got a stand-up show uh, at part of the Rogue Island Comedy Festival on October 11th. Anyone wants to come, DM me, and I'll give you a code to get a discount on tickets. All right. Well, this was a real melee of content, but here we are. I'm going to have more for you over the weekend because we couldn't get to all of it today. But if you want some this afternoon, you can scan this QR code right here. Scan this QR code right here, and then you can get the afternoon podcast episode. I will be covering some red carpet interviews from Dancing with the Stars. We've got an update on Casey Anthony. Believe it or not, she's got a new boyfriend, and now she can add home record to her list of uh, achievements. And we'll have more entertainment and pop culture news stories, all the ones you want to hear, some that you don't. And those will be on the afternoon rush. That's coming out next.